Go on, horseman. Cut off his miserable head. You've played right into his hands, horseman. I tire of demons and their threats. There are no more threats to make. Lucifer's plan is complete. Uh, complete? How? You should be wary of the company you keep. Isn't that right, Samael? Have you told uh, me that? That demon would not shut up. Yeah. Who knows what he might have said next? I think you do, Samael. What is the Animus? What are you hiding? I suppose I owe you the truth, but not here. Quickly, through the portal. Samael, you've been lying to us this whole time. Nonsense. I simply omitted some inconvenient truths. But I will tell you now everything I know. A small penance to repay your service to me. This better be a short story. After the Nephilim were destroyed, Lilith came to me. Lilith! Of course she'd have some hand in this. She was mad with grief, seeking my aid in orchestrating vengeance upon the Council against you, Horseman, for your part. Most of all, against the humans which fled Eden, who Lilith believed to be unfairly favored above all others. And you caved. I turned her away. I respect the balance after all. And I'd rather not have the Council meddling in my affairs. A lesson which to my great enjoyment, my rivals have learned with amusing finality. All save one. Lucifer. Yes. Lilith found him eagerly waiting, with hateful schemes to rival her own. Together they created the Animus to corrupt mankind. The Animus is a dark, seductive influence filled with malice and greed. To fuel the Animus, Lucifer struck a deal with the Masters, granting each of them power at a heavy price. The fools agreed, believing they would be invincible. He made the same offer to me. <laughs> Can you imagine the nerve? What was the price, Samael? Their souls to be claimed upon death. <sighs> this whole time we've been helping Lucifer. And you knew? Samael, what have you done? My hands are clean, horsemen. You acted on the Council's orders, not mine. I simply set you on your course. Can you blame me for wanting to see my rivals dead along the way? You will answer for this. Another time, perhaps. I promised you Lucifer, and I will send you to him, if you wish. But there is something you must know. Moloch spoke true for perhaps the first time in his miserable life. Lucifer's work is done. He has found humanity's new homeworld, Earth. Using the Animus, he has corrupted them. You will find them changed. Send us to Earth. Farewell, horsemen. It has been a pleasure. What now? Humanity's fate is for the Council to decide. Not us. We helped Lucifer create this. Impressive, aren't they? Speak of the devil. The life these creatures knew before was... meaningless. Whispering stories into the fire. Searching the stars for answers to their pathetic existence. I am the answer. See how quickly they adapt? Now that their eyes are open, they feel everything their creator denied them. Fear, hatred, lust. Perhaps now, they will create a third kingdom to be reckoned with. How far has it spread? By now, 
who can say? Will you kill us all? To be sure. Run, boy. As far from the village as you can. Proven your worth as soldiers of the Council. May your will and service continue unwavering for eternity. Thanks to your efforts, mankind endures, though changed forever by Lucifer's plot. Culling the aggressive humans you encountered was no doubt a grim task, but necessary. One that may help shape the Third Kingdom. Time will tell. What humans remain must be watched closely. Protected. Listen thus. With the forging of these seven seals, a great treaty shall be wrought in the name of the Balance. They who break it shall suffer. The Horseman's Wrath. Let our will be manifest within the seals. Three from the Children of Heaven. Three from the Dwellers Below. And a final seal from our own wisdom. The Council has spoken.